Well, welcome back to Winans Window. It has been way too long. I've actually heard from several of you wanting to hear family updates from Dominique Tarum. That lets me know it's been too long. Another indication is that today is Thanksgiving Day here in America. I'm sitting and drinking hot apple cider, enjoying the dense fog that's outside. And I think the last time I updated you, pff, it probably was 100 degrees out there. We've been doing a lot of, ha uh, we've been doing, I've been doing a lot of work inside the house. I'm gonna have to take you through and show you. One thing is this dining room. It used to be a tan color and I've gone through and it's just the most soothing color of blue. But one of my favorite things that I did, let me show you. Here are the blue walls. I'm not finished because I'm gonna do a cornice up here above the window. But the blue is just so, it, it turned out exactly the color I wanted to turn out. But this is my favorite aspect right here. I wallpapered that inside of that ceiling. If you guys know what the name of that is, you can let me know. But remind me, to never wallpaper a ceiling again. It nearly did me in. It's gorgeous, it turned out wonderful. It wasn't easy. Thankfully, Micah helped me quite a bit and then Mark came in at the very end. But I'll show you why I chose that particular wallpaper for up there on the ceiling of the dining room. Because this, is our entrance. So as you can see, I've painted over the skin color, flesh color, I called it flesh color, that they had here in the living room. To refresh your memory, this is what the flesh color looked like. I've just went ahead and gone complete farmhouse look with the white walls. I stained all the wood dark. Okay, I didn't do all the work myself because I am short. So Mark stained the top of the beam for me. And even with a 12 foot ladder, I could not reach the highest point of the ceiling. And so I needed some color and I chose this wallpaper. I chose this wallpaper primarily because of the blue, but also I just fell in love with the swallows that are on it. We do have a family of swallows that live here on the property. It added just the touch I was looking for. I have one more coat of paint to put on the walls, but I ran out and it's Thanksgiving today, so I couldn't finish up the walls. But then I have the blue of the dining room. And then the ceiling. Um, I'm not completely finished because I want to add some yellow accents and you'll have to come back later for that. But I'm really happy with the way the blue turned out in here. So along with the interior of the house, um, we finished up harvest, so that was good. I got a lot of pumpkins. That's a nice one. Oh, look how beautiful that is. That is a load of pumpkins, man. That is a lot heavier than what I thought it was going to be. Holy cow. 
Do you want to taste something as sweet as candy? Just cantaloupe from our garden. It's not very big, but it's cute and delicious. That is just, has a good, really good gallon. It's so soft. How juicy it is. You don't get that in the store. And we were able to get our garlic in before it frosted so that we will have garlic in the spring. And we woke up a few days later and an armadillo kind of went searching for grubs in among the garlic. So now we had to build a fence. A few tomatoes, my broccoli didn't do well at all. My fruit trees are growing and doing really well. Um, along with all the outside work and the inside work, the boys um, football team has made it to the playoffs the first time since 1999. And let me tell you, this little town gets behind this high school football team like I have never seen before. Here are the football boys going and sharing football spirit with the elementary kids. The homecoming parade and festivities. Michael Winans and I play strong safety and quarterback. My name's Eli Winans and I play outside linebacker and tight end. It's just continuing and let me tell you some nights at football literally I have nearly froze to death 32 degrees and the wind blowing yes thankfully friends have loaned us some of their um, cold weather gear until we're able to purchase some of our own but the most exciting news and probably the event that has taken up the majority of our time is Emily finally has her coffee business up and running. And Mark's airframe and power plant experience came in handy when he had to peel up the back of the trailer in order to put in the appliances. Millie Coffee is going strong, and that has just been such a joy to see her dream come true. And again, we want to say a big thank you to the Fairview community, how they have rallied around Emily to help her get this business going. Oh my word, isn't that the cutest thing? Can you even stand up in here? Fresh out. And we've even got some snow. 
even though I'm finding some kind of cold, oh my word, it's so beautiful. Waking up to a winter wonderland. Oh, I've missed winter. You guys need to start laying. Look how big you all are. Hello, Ira. I think my biggest thing is Iris has turned into Ira. You are an absolutely gorgeous rooster, Ira. I hope you're nice. Hi, Phyllis. And it's deer hunting season. Mike in particular has really enjoyed this. We also had the privilege of volunteering at the local relief cell that raises money for missions worldwide and eats some amazing local traditional foods. And we can't forget about the FFA auction. Thank you again for following our family. Even though I'm horrible at getting updates out, um, I trust this finds you wherever you are in the world being thankful. I know life is not always easy. We are exceptionally thankful this year to be here on Domini Tarum and all the goodness that God has bestowed upon us. But I hope this finds you enjoying life where you are. And we'll see you again next time from Domini Tarum. Mm -hmm.